Happy Hi. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> We're here. This is Arthur Wood. Hi, I'm Arthur. Oh, I think it was going live anyway. I think I'm still Arthur Wood. <laughs> this is Arthur Wood. And this I'm is Al Allison Cox. Yo. <laughs> and we wanted to hop on here today to talk about one of the five elements of intimacy, which is... Gratitude. Gratitude. This is the total gratitude day in the U.S. Oh, my God. This is gratitude day. It's just oozing gratitude. Oozing, oozing gratitude. <laughs> <laughs> So, gratitude is something that you can literally add to anything um, to help it transform and blossom into something greater, something that actually has space and something that can contribute to you. So, like, any problem, if you're feeling crappy, if you're in a fight, if you're... The world is falling apart. What am I grateful for here? Yeah, what am I grateful for? What's the gift or the gratitude that I'm not... Acknowledging. Like, if I were truly being me, what gratitude could I see? That's fun. Or would I be? That's a good one. Just rhyme yeah. something Thank and you. add gratitude. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, Arthur, what is an example of, like, gratitude where you've used it as a superpower for you? You know, it's funny. I love some of the people I, I talk to a lot of work with. I, I ask them, what if you were grateful for everything? Like, what if, what if you could be grateful for every fiber in the carpet that you're stepping on? Because it makes it soft to walk on. What if you could be grateful for a sandy wind coming at your face because you're getting, what's it called? Microabrasion? Oh, yeah, uh, totally. I think I had that done. What if you could be grateful for things that... <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. What if you could be grateful for things that you hadn't considered yet, and when you acknowledge that gratitude, what change could possibly happen? What, what could you, what, how could you grow? What, what, what beautiful things could you allow into your life? Yeah, that's awesome. Do you have an example of like when you use that? Um, that you can think of? Put me on the spot. Wow. When I use that? Yeah. I, just don't, don't, don't. Um, I mean another, like another a time. personal, yes. so, getting personal. So the other day we were in a round pen with my horse Scout ah. and we were working with him and uh, he was kind of not really, we weren't really connected. Uh, and he wasn't really present. So I, I got, what's it called? The, the tool I got? Oh, like in your hand? Yeah. I was thinking of like, what else is possible? Uh, like a whip. So a whip, but of course you don't whip your horse. So I kind of just snapped it on the ground behind him. And so he started moving and it was great. And then he kind of stopped. And so I snapped it again and he was not having it. He had just faced me and he's a stallion. He faced me and was looking right at me and started pawing at the ground. He was upset. He was pissed. And I freaked out. <laughs> I was like, babe. <laughs> and, and she's like, lower your barriers, calm down. And I, I, as soon as I did, of course, he did. So I was angry that he wasn't doing what I wanted him to do. And that anger transferred over to him. And he's like, what do you want me to do? And, and I was so grateful to be terrified. <laughs> Because we both learned so much and grew so much about each other, it was it was just beautiful. In that moment, when not you're when you're so what the what's going to happen? I'm terrified. To relaxing, realizing your power and potency, and then learning after that, seeing after that, the awareness of wow, that was beautiful, and oh, I'm just so grateful we got to bond like that. Yeah, you were like totally. Cool, calm, and collected, and you weren't run over by a horse. That was awesome to Ugh. witness. Ugh. It was so cool. I was super pissed at first, and then I was very, they're very terrified, and then all of a sudden there was just this <laughs> gratitude that overwhelmed everything. I mean, it got emotional because I was so just thankful, so grateful for being put in that position to learn and change what I did. Oh, I love that. What about you? Um, well, I use gratitude almost daily. Definitely daily, not almost. I'm not like, I'm getting better at being all, it all the time, but there are definitely moments, especially the last few days, I've been like, what is going on? I kind of forgot, you know, holidays and I don't know, I've been feeling like an 80 year old, like crickety old lady <laughs> and like cranky and all kinds of stuff. Sorry, Arthur. I haven't seen any of it. Oh, good. I've been like repressing it in my room, like, <laughs> But anyway, so... I've seen it. I've made a fan. Anyway. 
I missed it. So like either waking up or throughout the day, you know, like getting into these little bubbles of like anger, rage, fury, hate, you know, distract distractor implants, but also just like, what am I doing with my life? And I'm not good enough. And all these like sneaky little things to, that like to go in there and like, just these terrible thoughts. They like to distract. They like to distract you from you being you. Like, yeah. If you were really being you, you wouldn't be distracted by ang- anger, anger, rage, ang- anger, ang- rage, 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 those things that anger, rage. take you out of your truly being you. Right. So when I can, and this is often because I don't like feeling like that, I'm like, oh, uh, okay. What can I do or be here that would change this? Because I do not like feeling like this, and I know it's not me. And really, what can I do or be? Ah, uh, gratitude. Gratitude. So I'll just sit there and literally look at, I'll just basically make everything disappear. Like nobody else exists, nothing else exists. And all of a sudden just start to look at what I do have in my life. Um, the people that I have, the family I have, the just the cool things that I've created so far and like where I live, who I am. Gr- gratitude for me, gratitude for the things that are showing up in my life. And I start to ask for what would I like to have in the future and like the gratitude for even being able to think and know that I can ask for that and that it's going to show up. It's like, wow. Um, So that just shifts my day every day. And gratitude is one of these magical little, it, it doesn't seem like it's something that's real or that's tangible, but it is literally a superpower. It's an elemental. If you add it to anything, it will help to actualize, change, shift, whatever you're dealing with or whatever you want to create or just to allow you to have the life that you would truly like to have. And think about, right, or don't think about it, just be the energy of gratitude for a second. And is that light or heavy? Is that is that fun or not fun? Um, and it's just like, mm. It is. Mm. And, and <laughs> it's like a cuddly blanket. It's like a cuddly blanket. Uh, this this has come up. It, this has been just showing up, showing up, showing up. So I, I have to share it. Maybe somebody watching this will it will help change or facilitate. Uh, I heard once uh, a story from from a lady that she was getting ready to get a divorce. She'd been with her man for a long time, and and it, she just oh, I was done. Just I needed a divorce, and she was asked a question: uh, What is the gift of this person mm. that you're not acknowledging? Like, what? Where's the gift here that you're not seeing? And it completely changed, I'm going to get emotional, changed everything. And they had years and more of a beautiful marriage um, and, until until he passed away. But what what kind of gratitude, what gratitude is out there for, for people you have in your life, for the job that you have, for the, where you live, that you haven't really been acknowledging that if you did, it might change everything for you. Oh my gosh, what a great story. Like, if you're bored, you know when you just start, like... You, you start, you go to work and you think you hate work, except what, what is actually there? What, what are, you, are you choosing? For, yeah. What are you grateful for? And how can you change it? What point of view can you shift? What molecule can you turn to create a new possibility in that situation, in that point in your life where it could be a benefit instead of a detriment? Yeah, it can literally change anything. When you change your point of view, it can add magic to anything like even cleaning toilets. Or if you have your whole family over today and it's like, ah, uh, get out. What what can you be grateful for? Even for the most obnoxious person in your family, like having gratitude for them being like, wow, they can be this obnoxious and still have friends and still like be invited over. Impressive. Still be this obnoxious and like I'm so grateful that I'm oh, even. <laughs> So grateful. I'm so grateful you're so obnoxious. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Which leads into like, we'll talk about that later, but. Oh, another one. Good. Um, yeah, humor. Maybe we can just go through all of the um, the elements, and oh, elementals shit. and the elements of intimacy. You know well, then we just go through these videos and you know. I like then it. you can all learn them. And you notes, can learn additional them. Lives? Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. I'm in. Sounds good. Well, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Snap. <laughs> Do it again. Uh, Snap. Oh, ta-ta. wait. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. Ding. <laughs> Bye now. Bye. Dude, we are... Sh-